We welcome you back to another exciting night. It's Thursday Night Throwdown. On behalf of New Japan Pro Wrestling and Pro Wrestling Noah, it's your boy, Arachnid Soul, coming to you once again tonight from Osaka, Japan. As we said earlier this week in the updates video, we'd like to thank all of you fans for tuning in and watching Wrestle Kingdom, our massive pay-per-view, our super card event of the year, and what an awesome event it was. It was our most watched event we've ever done. The link is in the description, and tonight is a night designed to accomplish two things. We want to bring you the best action anywhere in the world in professional wrestling, number one. And number two, tonight we will not spoil Wrestle Kingdom. If you have not seen the Wrestle Kingdom event, do not worry, we will not spoil it tonight. You've still got one week to watch that event, but please first enjoy tonight's awesome throwdown offering. You see the graphic on the screen. It's your throwdown catchweight championship tournament. We've selected some of the best wrestlers from around the world, from Pro Wrestling Noah, from New Japan Pro Wrestling, and also from the United States. They will compete over the next six to eight weeks in the championship catchweight tournament. The winner of that tournament will get a championship shot at any championship that man desires. In tonight's main event, we will present you with the very first match in that catchweight championship tournament. We will see the man Yoshinari Ogawa will take on Takeshi Morishima. If you watched Wrestle Kingdom, if you watched the previous event, you know that Takeshi Morishima is on a roll. The only thing missing from this man is a championship. Tonight, he looks to take that first step and make it into the next round of the Catchweight Championship Tournament. The man who stands in his way, none other than Yoshinari Ogawa, a legend not only in All Japan Pro Wrestling, but in Pro Wrestling Noah. Tonight, Ogawa makes his throwdown debut, and the last thing he wants is a defeat. Yoshinari Ogawa tonight takes his first step at winning a major championship. It's your main event. If you have not been watching Throwdown over the past month, you've missed some of the most awesome junior heavyweight action we've ever seen. The man at the helm of more of that junior heavyweight action than not is Jushin Thunder Liger, a man who opened Wrestle Kingdom, and I'm just going to give you my opinion, in one of the finest junior heavyweight title matches we've seen in quite some time. Seven days from now, JTL, Jushin Thunder Liger returns to action. It's going to happen one week from tonight, right here on Throwdown. Do not miss that. Yuji Nagata, tonight, next week, hey, maybe a month from now, anytime Throwdown's happening, at live events, at untelevised events, it doesn't matter. Yuji Nagata, going back to his roots, going back to his MMA shoot fighting roots, has issued an open challenge. We here at Throwdown pride ourselves on bringing you the very best action in this sport. We flew a man in from Greenwich, Connecticut tonight. He accepted the challenge of Yuji Nagata. The match was not up to par, so we pulled it from tonight's broadcast. We will bring you those highlights, and we're sending that man back to the United States, back to Greenwich, Connecticut, and tonight we're not even going to use his name. Hell, we're just going to call him Evolution 8. We're going to bring you those highlights next. Now, we understand that where Evolution H is from, this is the type of subpar wrestling match that, hell, is pretty run-of-the-mill in that promotion. But here in New Japan, here in Pro Wrestling Noah, hell, even in the United States, outside of that promotion, that type of mediocre wrestling, that type of mediocre in-ring performance is unexcusable. Yuji Nagata, 
for the better part of five minutes. That's right, Evolution H didn't last very long. For the better part of five minutes, Yuji Nagata took the match to Evolution H. There you see that Crippler cross face, and yeah, we're calling it that tonight intentionally. Evolution H, Irish whip that time. Spinebuster hitting one of his five wrestling maneuvers and then transition into that Boston Crab. Yuji Nagata was able to come back. There you see that exploder suplex. Yuji Nagata then backing off, trying to see if Evolution H would be able to answer that 10 count. And to his credit, he did. Yuji Nagata stayed on the attack. There you see that inverted figure four drops back into that trademark Yuji Nagata lock. And it was not long before the man from Greenwich, Connecticut tapped out. Now let's get back to wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, it was at Wrestle Kingdom in that bloody brawl, that dream partner tag team match, that we saw Jun Akiyama on one side take on Masahiro Chono on the opposition side. Once again, not to spoil Wrestle Kingdom, we will not tell you who those two individuals pick as their dream partner. We can tell you this, Masahiro Chono was scheduled to take part in this Catchweight Championship tournament when the concept was thought up last month. Now obviously, at Wrestle Kingdom, Masahiro Chono wrestled his retirement match. That left an opening in the brackets. Who would fill those brackets? Well, we found out earlier this morning, stepping up to the plate and filling in for Masahiro Chono is Scott Flash Norton. Scott Norton makes his Thursday night throwdown debut one week from now as he takes on Jun Akiyama. That will be a catchweight championship tournament bout. This is a fight between two heavyweights that you, the viewing audience, do not want to miss. It is must-watch TV. It is one week from tonight on Thursday Night Throwdown. And it is main event time here tonight in Osaka, Japan, making his way down the aisle at this time to Keshi Morishima, a man who was very impressive a couple of weeks ago right here on Throwdown as he took on Kenta Kobashi, a man who was very impressive at Wrestle Kingdom as he took on Blue Justice Yuji Nagata. Once again, here tonight, Morishima looking to solidify his place in the Patchweight Championship Tournament, looking to advance to the second round. But that will be no easy task, as first, he must go through Yoshinari Ogawa. And as you hear that trademark Rob Zombie scum of the earth entrance music, it's Yoshinari Ogawa making his way down the aisle to face the high tension monster Takeshi Morishima. We're gonna run down some of the accomplishments of this man Ogawa when this match gets underway. Yoshinari Ogawa makes his throwdown debut right now. Takeshi Morishima is ready. Do not be fooled by the name Rat Boy. Ogawa can throw down. Go. 
you hear the opening bell once again it's your boy arachnid soul coming to you with tonight's main event now let's talk a little bit about yoshinari ogawa let's talk about a man who started in all japan pro wrestling let's talk about a man who was mentored who tag teamed who was trained by one of his best friends in this business mitsuharu misawa you see that early Fujiwara armbar that time from Takeshi Morishima. Now, this is a catchweight championship tournament. This is a catchweight match. I mean, let's talk about the weights of these two individuals. Takeshi Morishima weighing in tonight at 120 kilos. That's about 264, maybe 265 pounds. And when you talk about Yoshinari Ogawa, you're talking about a man weighing in tonight at only about 90 kilograms. That's about 198 pounds. We're talking about a 66 to 70 pound weight difference between these two individuals. Do not be fooled by that weight difference. Many have underestimated Yoshinari Ogawa over the years because of his size. This was a man who's beaten not only a lot of junior heavyweights, both in All Japan and Pro Wrestling NOAA to capture championships, but this man has also defeated a lot of heavyweight wrestlers all around the globe. Yoshinari Ogawa, a man sometimes called Rat Boy, and the reason he's called that is because he's deceptively quick and agile when it comes to executing pins and scoring pinfall victories. He can cradle you. He can schoolboy you. A number of tricky technical maneuvers Yoshinari Ogawa will use to defeat opponents. Now let's call some of the action in this match back and forth it's been so far. Morishima now. Folding press, power bomb, referee in position two. No, Yoshinari Ogawa kicks out and gets the shoulder up. Takeshi Morishima now going after the left knee of Ogawa. Drops the leg, does Takeshi Morishima. Morishima going up top, and look at Ogawa. Putting some distance between himself and the man with the 70 pound weight advantage. Dropped to the floor. And now that suplex, that brain buster back in on behalf of Morishima who follows up with that awesome elbow drop. A big man like that, shades of the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, if you will. Both men exchanging leather. You saw the chops, you saw the boots. Collar and elbow lock up now. Not quite center ring, Morishima now into the side headlock. Yoshinari Ogawa gets countered with the backbreaker. Three quarter cravat chancery that time, snapmare, modified stretch plum, and a boot that time from Takeshi Morishima. Back heel trip that time from Yoshinari Ogawa, grabs the legs, maybe looking for that figure four jackknife pin, one of those cradles he likes to put away guys with. We talked about that earlier. Yoshinari Ogawa has also been known to use the Scorpion Deathlock submission hold. Many of the fans in the United States will be familiar with a man named Sting. Not only a legend in the past in the United States, but a current legend in TNA Impact Wrestling and a legend in New Japan Pro Wrestling. The master of that hold in the United States Amaze impact that time from Takeshi Morishima. I've laid out a little bit in this match so you can hear some of the full contact these men are exchanging. Bridging belly to back suplex, one of the trademarks of Ogawa, but you see Takeshi Morishima able to kick out. You saw that graphic earlier on, we talked about it, and now you see a similar graphic 
one week from tonight, one of the best junior heavyweight wrestlers in the history of this sport, Jushin Thunder Liger, returns to Throwdown. Fans, do not miss that. Big boot that time from Takeshi Morishima. Morishima now going up top, coming off the top, drops the leg, drops the hip, drops the knee, drops the elbow. Both men now outside the ring, you saw that single sledge. Backdrop driver! On the outside, Takeshi Morishima executes one of his trademark finishing moves. Snap suplex on the concrete. Now you see Takeshi Morishima with the Kimura lock. A move that can not only dislocate your shoulder, but a move that can snap your forearm. And how when we talk about the Kimura lock, we might as well rename that the Sakuraba lock. No one in the history of professional sports, in my opinion, has used that hold as well as one Kazushi Sakuraba, a legend of MMA and also a legend in shoot fighting and right here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Ogawa that time with that trademark kneeling jawbreaker, a move he likes to follow up a lot of the time with that jackknife hold, that figure four jackknife hold he's pinned so many individuals with over the years. And I'm going to be real honest with you, this match to this point has pretty much been all Takeshi Morishima. Yoshinari Ogawa has connected with a little bit of offense, but he's been wrestling a more defensive style tonight, and I'm not sure that that's his choice. Yoshinari Ogawa needs to fight back, needs to put some combinations together to come back into this match as we see him send Takeshi Morishima head first multiple times into that unforgiving, into that cold, into that unbearable steel ring post. Another jawbreaker, we talked about that a couple of seconds ago. Yoshinari Ogawa taking out Takeshi Morishima outside the ring where he's a little bit safe. We can speculate that in a couple of seconds or minutes here, he's gonna roll the big man back inside, try to cradle him, try to get a pinfall victory. Takeshi Morishima once again sent back first into the guardrail and once again into that steel ring post. Morishima looked for that drop kick, had it paint brushed away, now ends up in the camel clutch. Pro Wrestling Noah and New Japan Pro Wrestling proud to co-sponsor all throwdown events, all pay-per-views. There you see that bridging belly to back. Takeshi Morishima lands in the ropes. The referee will not count the pinfall. And once again, we see one more camel clutch on behalf of rat boy Yoshinari Ogawa. Dragon screw leg whip. Shades of the great Muda, shades of Keiji Muda, and there's that figure four jackknife hold one, and only a one count. Could not keep the big man down. Yoshinari Ogawa, three quarter cravat chancery into that modified stretch plum. Able to keep it this time. He was not able to keep that hold earlier on. Drops the back elbow, and now Ogawa in control of this contest. Hammerlock throw, Irish whip to the far side, drop kick scores, does not drop the big man. Ogawa now sends Takeshi Morishima to the corner, back elbow, drop kick in the corner, shades of one Austin Aries. Now looking to take Takeshi Morishima up top. This will be an amazing show of strength if he can execute this. Fans, look out, Avalanche Brain Buster connects. Going to the legs again. Looked like he was trying to go to the legs again. Morishima got up that time. Maybe Ogawa was looking for either another jackknife hold. 
maybe another type of pin. Hell, he might have been looking for that Scorpion Deathlock we talked about earlier as we see the Shin Breaker. Takeshi Morishima scores with that Enzigiri. Morishima looking for the scoop and the slam. Ogawa floats through. Side waist lock takes his man up. Belly to back suplex. Yoshinari Ogawa scooping a slam, showing his strength once again in this encounter. Takeshi Morishima shot off to the far side, returns, gets caught in the RNC, the rear naked choke, the sleeper hold, judo style underarm spin slash hip toss that time, the counter out. And once again, Takeshi Morishima fighting defensively. Morishima comes back off the ropes, forearm shiver that time, drills Ogawa, who scores with one more scoop slam. Going back to the legs, but once again, Takeshi Morishima up. Catches the foot, back heel trip that time. Takeshi Morishima, the high tension monster, drills Yoshinari Ogawa with the amaze impact. Lateral press here, referee in position, not even a one count, ladies and gentlemen. Ogawa takes his man up, beautifully executed vertical brain buster suplex. Savat kick that time. Maybe the third or fourth scoop and a slam we've seen from Ogawa tonight. Takeshi Morishima catches the forearm, drops down, sits out into that Fujiwara armbar. Ogawa with elbows to the top of the head, forearm shivers, gets shot off, hammerlock throw, returns, shoulder block, super kick that time from Morishima, Morishima catches Ogawa, inside knee, there's a receipt, a vertical brain buster suplex that time on Yoshinari Ogawa. And fans, once again, we'd like to remind you, the action is this hot every week. You've got to tune in every week. It's Thursday Night Throwdown. It's your boy, Arachnid Soul. It's the best professional wrestling you're going to see anywhere on the world. It's every Thursday night. Do not miss it. Do not miss the pay-per-views. And feel free to revisit our Throwdown Library. Release Greco-Roman suplex that time from Takeshi Morishima. Picks Ogawa up, scooping a slam. Backdrop driver, that sick Greco-Roman backdrop driver. Once again, Takeshi Morishima's got this thing won. What's this? Lariato! That'll be it, lateral press, two. Takeshi Morishima will advance into round two of your throwdown catchweight championship tournament. What a main event we have just witnessed and no shame on the part of Yoshinari Ogawa. As you see the updated bracket, it's next week. It's June Akiyama. He takes on a debuting to Thursday Night Throwdown. Scott Flash Norton. Fans, do not miss it. We thank you once again. It's been your boy, Arachnid Soul. Intellectual, voracious, intense and sometimes controversial as always thank you like comment subscribe share we want to know what you think and join us again next week signing off good night